Hi Taurus, it's B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Uh, how are my bowls doing? It's been an intense month, that's for sure, in March. I'm recording this on the 21st, so I can prepare you for April. Uh, it is happy spring in the northern hemisphere, and it's happy fall in the southern hemisphere. So, this is awesome. I bet the bulls are excited for spring to be here and excited to get out there and experience uh, the earth and, and the wonderful nature uh, that um, our earth has to offer. So, bulls, what have we got? Uh, we have, uh, planetary wise, we have um, the sun going in your 12th house. So basically this is this is the gestation time uh, right before your birthday where you go internal. You uh, take time out for yourself and you tend to be a little bit more withdrawn. And this is what you need to do. You need your rest, you need your recuperation so you can prepare yourself to uh, uh, get ready for all the celebrations for your birthday month uh, at the end of April and into May. So, what other things are going on? We just had a massive event. It is, or it is called the Supermoon Total Solar Eclipse in Pisces. And that occurred in your 11th house. And what this basically is, is it's an eclipse on steroids. I mean, it's it's huge. It's like times 80. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. So for you, this happened in your 11th house, and this has to do with your hopes, your wishes, your goals, your networks. So you may be going through a lot of closing of these massive doors in some of these areas while you're also opening doors to these areas as well. Now, what may have happened with you is as you're going through this shift with the eclipse, the very next day, which is today, that the sun has entered Aries, you may be taking all this information that you got from this eclipse and all of this illumination that occurred, and you're t going within and you're trying to figure out how you're going to handle these energies and how you're going to approach things in your life moving forward. Now the eclipse energy uh, lasts for about six months. Now we are still dealing with the Pluto Uranus square energies uh, that happened right around, I want to say it was the 11th, yes, no the 16th, the 16th and the 17th of March. So those energies are going to last all the way to the end of April and they may even bleed over just a little bit into May. So you're dealing with all of that massive energy from the Pluto Uranus square, and if you, those if if those of you that um, need a little bit more information on that, I would highly suggest you go to my Pluto Uranus square video uh, that I posted a couple weeks ago for your specific sign, and um, just to kind of give you a little bit more information on how it may have affected you. So you've got all that energy from your Pluto Uranus square and then you've got all this eclipse energy coming in and then you're moving in with the new moon in your 12th house so you're thinking about a lot of things right now and you are going through these massive transformations and you're trying to make sense of it all so it is a really really good idea for you to kind of take a step back and maybe you know spend time at home meditate uh, get away from the crowd for just a little bit get your energies back up there Go back to source, find your life force, you know, get yourself ready with the strength that you need in order to move forward uh, for the next six months, next eight months, so to speak. So, Taurus, what do we have going on for you with the cards, with your spiritual advice? Well, the cards I'm using, um, for those of you that are my subscribers that know how I do this, uh, I use the red or white tarot deck for your general energies and for your specific section energies. So you'll have a section for general energies for that overshadow the entire month. And then you have work and finances. And then you have uh, emotional uh, love life 
um, energies, and then you have health energies. And then I do uh, spiritual advice from the Crystal Ally deck from uh, Naisa Asian, I believe is how I say how her name is pronounced. And what that spiritual advice does is it illuminates things for you on you know how you can handle the particular energies um, that are revealed in your monthly general energies as well as your section energies and in some cases it can reveal the types of energies that you are going to be facing as far as advice maybe things that you need to look out for so it really really just depends on your specific situation now I would like to remind everyone that these are general readings I would highly recommend that you check your rising sign and your moon sign your moon sign is going to be kind of how you deal with things emotionally or how they affect you emotionally your sun sign is how things affect you, you know, like your identity your ego and then the uh, ascendant sign is kind of how you project out into or how uh, people see you and and um, you know what they think about you or how they perceive you so whether that matters or not I'm, I'm just I'm just laying it out there so how about we just get right into April of 2015 with the uh, with the tarot deck here so let's go ahead and look at your general energies for the month of April. Well, this one already wants to pop out. Now we are going to go for the finance and work. Nope, that's not it. And as all of you know, or I just dropped <laughs> a ton of these cards. I am so sorry, Taurus. Uh, let's see here where they go. There they are. They fell under my couch. Okay. I apologize, 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 Taurus. I gotta look at these now. Make sure they're all in the right area. Okay. Okay, let's try this again, okay? <laughs> Um, the fact that that happened is uh, maybe things at work are a little bit disheveled for you right now. So just be aware that you know you're probably trying to make heads or tails of things right now. Um, you're trying to regroup. You're trying to get things in order and trying to organize. So, but let's let's just see uh, how your work life and your financial life is panning out. Anyway, this one wants to come out. Like I said, um, I do my uh, readings uh, with live shuffles. I, I don't pre-shuffle. Uh, some readers do pre-shuffle, and that's perfectly fine. It does not make their readings any less accurate. But, oh, this one wants to come out for your emotional life. Um, but what I do is I channel the energies. Like, for example, I had Aries energies in my aura and in my consciousness prior to yours so what I have to do is I actually have to get the Aries energies out and bring the Taurus energies in so it's almost like I've got 12 zodiac signs outside my house and they're knocking on my door and then I open up the door you know for Aries I let Aries in and then when Aries is done Aries leaves the house and then I let Taurus in but before Taurus comes in I have to make sure that I clear all of the Aries energies around me so right now I mean I, I channel all of the Taurus energies and the planets and everything that you know you might be going through no okay health 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 Taurus health Taurians tend to be pretty healthy you guys have a really good um you know disposition and you're pretty calm and determined and disciplined and oh this one wants to come up for your health the only thing you may suffer from is any type of you know throat infection or something like that you guys rule the neck area so what do we have for spiritual advice for Taurus April 2015 Taurus April 2015 Taurus Oh, 
this one wants to come out. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and see what you have for your general energies for the month of April 2015. Taurus, for your general energies for April, you are trying very hard to maintain your ground, whatever ground that is. You have some people that are kind of poking at you, poking at you, <laughs> and you are trying to defend your turf. So what I would recommend here is that you make sure that you're doing everything uh, you know, by the book. You're not doing anything illegal. You're not doing anything um, kind of behind somebody else's back or anything. You're, you're forthright. You are honest. You are transparent. And you, know, you will win. You will maintain your ground. You will be on top. And again, these are general energies, so these could affect all of your um, individual sections uh, in this reading, but the story will come together as I turn all the cards over. So right now, I am going to say as a as, um, general you know, advice from spirit is that you are trying very hard to maintain what you have, and um, you are defending your turf at this point. For your work life, this is absolutely, absolutely um, indicative of the first card. Uh, it, they support one another. You are working very hard, Taurus. You are, you know, you've got your nose to the grindstone and you are, you know, creating this perfection and in some cases it may be very repetitive for you it may be like you know I'm putting in all this work all this work all this work and it just seems to kind of be the same thing over and over you know just stick with it Taurus stick with it you know defend your ground okay defend defend your perfection defend all of those things that you are working so hard to achieve whether that be um, you know with work or with finances just just stick to it just don't give up just do not give up whatever you do um, with finances uh, it seems that you are trying to rebuild your finances that you are trying to find ways to uh, perfect your finances and normally Taurans are really really good at acquiring things they're very good at acquiring things of value so right now you're working on those things of value and you're trying to make sure that they they maintain their value I'm hearing um, you are really focused on value right now. You're really focused on your own value and you're really focused on you know, creating this stable ground that, that you, know, you can rely on in the future. For your emotional life, we have the Page of Swords. course there's information coming in that you may not have been aware of you are standing at the ready when you receive this information it may cause you to be a little bit defensive you are guarding your heart you are guarding your relationship Taurus, you are here again. Here, let me move over. Here again, you might be trying to defend your turf with your relationship or defend your turf, turf with your significant other. And um, Taurans by nature are, are, you guys are possessive. I mean, let's just, let's just say it. Um, you are possessive. So there may be people, you know, here in this one, you know, you've got these six wands that, you know, may be vying for the attention of the person that you're seeing and, um, or even the person that you're with, even, even if you're in a committed relationship, it could be, it could be uh, that these, that, you know, your significant other is, is 
getting inundated at work and you just want some time with your significant other you just want to spend time with them you know if you're dating you may have to contend with with other people that are are trying to get the attention of your significant other of the person that you are dating so in this particular case you are standing at the ready you are ready to defend you are ready to basically chop anybody's heads off that gets in your way but there is information coming in the birds always signify information communication so there may be something here where where you are getting information that again may put you on the defensive so you may be trying to um, you know maintain your ground with this person or with this relationship now again this relationship could even be at work so you may may be defending your position at work by simply working really really hard and and trying to get ahead of the game um, you know but you are prepared you you are getting this information coming in and you are like okay now I'm standing at the ready now I know what to look out for now I know you know how to handle this moving forward you know if you were in a committed stable bond uh, the page of swords indicates even with messages um, the page of swords indicates that there may be something that you have to defend uh, regarding your relationship it may not be you know defending um, your relationship from the perspective of you needing to possess the person that you are with but it may be that you just need to defend the relationship itself you may have people that are coming in and giving and, and maybe gossiping about the person that you're with so just be aware that um, you know the truth will always reveal itself and when it does just take that time out you know like the like the 12th house going the sun going into your 12th house you know you may t need to take some time out and be able to you know uh, gestate on some of this information that you're getting so that you move forward analytically and with all the facts so that you can make appropriate decisions okay for your health wow Taurus <gasps> You have the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is not as bad as it looks, okay? This is not the death knell for your health, okay? What I am seeing here is some Taurans might be undergoing surgery. If you are uh, potentially, um, you know, considering surgery at this point, um, you know, this may be on the docket for you in the month of April, okay? But see, there is there is this yellow horizon here, and so you're looking at the sun. This is you know you are just you are just done with feeling you know the way that you do, and you have decided you know what I am going to consider you know having surgery. You know it could be surgery for your back. I mean that's that's what I'm picking up here. You may have some back problems that you know may have been as a result of some type of an accident or something like that maybe you were in you know um, a car accident at one point and you were just done with it you want to get this taken care of you know so in this particular case it could also be where you are done feeling crappy and you are you know looking on the horizon and you are you know taking all the information in and you are considering you know what can I do to make my health better what can I do to, um, you know, make my health serve me as opposed to keeping me stuck in in these specific areas? You know, this could be also because these are swords, so this could also be very mental for you. So um, there may be some mental issues that are affecting your health, and you may have to deal with these mental issues. Now, these mental issues could manifest themselves in many ways. They could be alcoholism. They could be um, uh, they, they could be overeating. They could be uh, bulimia. I'm hearing bulimia for some of you. Um, you just need to be very, very cautious of this, and you need to get get everything right in your mind so that you can move forward and uh, really start appreciating appreciating your health and the and you know the temple that that you are here on this earth 
you know, to move around and, and to be part of. So if you are planning on surgery, um, I, we de you know, you can definitely see that here and you are definitely looking towards, you know, recuperation from all of the pain that you've been in. And um, this is something that is, is basically saying to you, you know, you are on a path right now. You are deciding right now what it is you want to do. And you are with full optimism and I know optimism is hard to see in this card but with full optimism you are looking at the Sun you are looking at the horizon saying you know what I know what I need to do and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it so that you know I can serve you know, myself and the people in my life that I love very dearly now as I am looking at this you know cuz like I say this stories come out uh, with with everything here and in this particular case you know with your relationship you may decide uh, that the information that you hear or you know the gossip that you hear and after you do your fact-finding you may realize that this relationship is is hurting you more than it's helping you so you may decide to let this relationship go um, so this is very important to understand Taurus that you know you have to protect yourself and you have to protect your mental state and if something is happening where it is not making you feel good and it is bringing you down as far as your health and it's affecting your health it's time to cut it out I mean just absolutely cut it out and that is what the page of swords is telling you that sword is there for a reason it's time for you to cut it out whatever it is and um, the other thing that may be happening here you know with your general energies where you're defending your turf where you're where you're fighting and and you know you're you're trying to figure out how you're gonna do this um, this definitely could be again where you're like I'm done with this I am gonna get on top of this whatever it is I'm tired of feeling this way I'm gonna start fighting back and I am going to start doing whatever it takes to help me with my mental health my physical health and my spiritual health okay what's your spiritual advice Here we go, Taurus, male power. <laughs> Taurus, spiritual advice for you is to embrace your male power. Now, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. For the male Taurans out there, I'm feeling that you may have been embracing your feminine side and you may have gotten a little bit imbalanced, okay? You may have allowed people to possibly step all over you and you're realizing that you know what I've got to rebalance myself I need to bring my male power back I need to you know be the man in the relationship I am not gonna put up with you know I am not gonna put up with people gossiping behind my back I am not going to have to put up with having to constantly fight to stand my ground I am going to make a decision I am done with it or I am you know I am going to put the efforts in myself to be able to make all of these situations work with work you know you may be working really really hard and you know you may have been you know kind of put in a position where you were told you know you need to settle down you know you need to you need to be kind you need to be a little bit more you know empathetic with people yes you do but you may have gone to the extreme Taurus so bring that male power back in for you females out there you really need to embrace this male power you need to stop getting stepped on um, what in whatever situation you're in whether it is your relationship or um, your love life or whether it is at work and you're working hard and you're working diligently and you know and here's your general energy so I think a lot of this a lot of these um, messages are coming out to the female Torians out there that um, that you need to really really embrace that male power and you need to start sticking up for yourself and you say you know what I've been working really really hard on this project and many projects at that and I've been giving out perfection this whole time I mean I have been very very good at giving you repetitive success I am ready for a raise I am ready you know to take my power back this is what I want so you know what Taurus take your power back female Taurans take that power back 
I know, embrace that male side of you that says enough is enough. It's time for me to start living my life. It's time for me to start taking control. It's time for me to start saying, you know what, I need to get to the gym and I need to, I need to start, you know, taking care of myself and, 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 you know, getting a hold of that testosterone and you know for some of you especially you female Torians out there I feel like some of you are actually going to be taking up weightlifting you know so this is this is something that you know you need to be aware of and you need to embrace okay Torians uh, it looks like it's going to be a rather interesting month for you um, I really hope that um, you guys have a great month and I really really hope that you take that time to reflect and to uh, take time out and and gather your center back get your power back get your male power back and you know really really start looking at what type of value that you're bringing to the table and how you are worth every penny you know that 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 you know that you have that you are bringing into an organization you know and if you are not employed right now which I find odd for Torians you you guys are are really good at um, at making money but for those of you that are not employed I suggest uh, or the spirit suggests that you just keep working really really hard and put keeping your nose to the grindstone and you will find that job you will find that that um, you know career that you are looking for and and it will be very beneficial for you okay well Torrens there's your April 2015 uh, Terrascope reading I am B and thank you for visiting my channel Psychic Sounds by B I do not have my website up yet but hopefully I will have it up uh, towards the end of April I wish you love I wish you light and many many blessings namaste